Hi everybody, Rubber Mold Man here, going to do another uh, quick painting video. Uh, I get a lot of requests for different painting techniques, and I'm going to show you today probably the easiest finish you can ever use on statuary, and it also happens to be about the best selling one we've ever found, so it's a perfect uh, finish to learn. Before I show you real quick, I need to quickly plug myself, of course. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so if you want to see more tips like this. Uh, my Facebook is Rubber Mold Man, and of course my website, Rubber Mold Man. Dot com. Uh, that's where you'll find molds to make statues such as this and uh, all the contact info for me. Okay, so for today's paint finish, I'm going to show you on this antique angel statue. Uh, now, it's hard to tell currently. I have a gray uh, base coat on it. And if you've watched my other videos, you know that the base coat was done with uh, watered down gray paint. Doesn't have to be done really well, just soak it in. That way the paint soaks into the cement or the uh, concrete a little bit making a much better, longer lasting finish in the end. But as it is, it's just gray. You don't see much of the detail. This is called the Antique Angel because it's designed to look uh, kind of old and weathered. It's like an old statue that's um, got some pits in it and that. We're gonna make that all pop out real quick here with just a little bit of paint. So on here, I've got a little bit of white latex paint and we're just gonna do the standard, what is called dry brushing, where you get most of that paint off on a piece of cardboard or a board like that, just have some on there. I'm going to start on the back here since it's probably a little easier. And you just go back and forth across the details of the piece. Just back and forth. You can kind of smash it in there as it dries up a little more in your brush to get in those spots. And it's kind of up to you. You can do it real light. I'll show, here I'll turn it around. You know if you want just a very light effect, get very little paint on your brush and just very lightly dust it on there. Or, I generally do it a little heavier like I am here. And remember, you can always add more. So if you wanna start light, see how you like it. And then perhaps thicken up the paint, darken it. It's up to you. But uh, honestly, this is probably the easiest finish to do because the gray and the white are so close on the color spectrum that it's hard to mess up. You know, I also do this finish where it's white on top of a black base coat. Not much difference really as far as the work involved, but if you make a little mess up, you accidentally smear the paint or something, it shows up a lot more when you have a black base coat because black and white are completely opposite. The gray just kind of works with the white. And so you can just kind of dust it on there and brush it in and it all just kind of blends together and looks very natural. But you see how quick this is, and I'm actually going kind of slow here. I'm not going as fast as I normally do. I normally just whip through these because I try to do several at a time. But super easy finish. You just kind of, spots you can't quite, you know, go back and forth in the dusting motion, just kind of smash it in there a little bit. Just, you know, as long as there's not much on the bristles of the brush, you're fine. Oh, got a little spot in there I didn't see. And let's take a look here, maybe a little under there, touch up there, and I'd say that's about done from what I can see here. So, super quick, super easy. At this point, I may, at best, give it a clear coat of clear enamel spray just to uh, give it a little bit of a shine, a sheen to it. It doesn't really protect it any much more than a proper base coat does, but it just gives it a nice look. But there you go, gray base coat. You can do dark gray, light gray, really up to you. And then just flat, white, uh, exterior grade latex paint that I did the dry brush thing. And that again, where you brush most of the paint off on a surface like such as cardboard or board like this, and then just dust it on, letting the highlights pick up the paint. I highly recommend learning this finish. You learn this one, you're automatically gonna have better selling statuary if you sell at sh a shop or a flea market, things like that, craft shows. So uh, that's it for today. Hope to uh, have some more videos up soon. Until then, have a great day.